So in order for you to set up your smart lock to your mobile phone, the first you want to do is to insert a CR123A battery. How do you do that? Simply getting the suction cup. Open and expose the battery compartment. Remove this screw. Be careful not to lose this tiny screw. And here, there's a little bit of a latch for you to lift up. Insert the battery. Select the add device icon at the top on your phone. It will begin searching for the smart lock. Just activate the smart lock and you see a pop up that says add device. Select add device. It will begin to pair automatically. Once that is paired, it is the perfect opportunity for you to change the smart lock name. Click onto this icon and change it to a suitable, unique name. For example, front door. Done. Once that is done, you really want to activate the notification. Select next and grant access. So that's whenever it unlocks, it will send a notification to your phone. Once that is done, the installation has been set up. So you notice that you can first test it. If you hold on to the unlocking icon, your door should automatically unlock. The next thing you will want to do is to set up your fingerprint. When capturing your fingerprint, top tip is to use the tip of your finger like this so that it's angled at the center instead of just using the flat part of your finger. We notice that the tip is a lot more sensitive and is a lot more accurate. So when you use the tip, generally the success rate is even greater. In capturing, use the tip of your finger. You might also want to register on both hands, on your index and on your farm, so that you've got different fingers registered. Next, you will want to register the key card. To do that, you can either click through Members Management and select the key card and allocate it to a certain member. You can select Card here and you can add the card. Alternatively, you can go back to the main page and use the Settings menu. Select Card Management and select Add Card. Allocate then to a certain family member begin capturing. Once it's activated, just place the key card on the sensor and it has now been captured. So you now notice that the key card that has just been registered will not work and activate the lock. A brand new key card will do nothing. It is also very important to explain how the mechanical key work. It works slightly differently. To access the mechanical key slot, remove the back cover and insert 
the mechanical key. When you turn it, it doesn't turn the lock. All that does, it, it activates the pin. It activates the lock so that you can rotate it. If it's disengaged, you notice that when you rotate the lock, the cylinder does not move and does not operate the lock inside. So the mechanical key actually activates. Once it's turned, it activates the locking mechanism. So now when you turn the lock, it does operate the cylinder. So that's how the mechanical key work. It is very important that you carry a mechanical key with you at all times, just in case that the battery runs out. If the battery does ever run out, it will always give you a battery warning beforehand. But there's also a USB-C emergency power slot here. So if it does run dead on battery, you can put in a power bank and then activate the lock. Or alternatively, it's just much easier to carry a mechanical key with you at all times. If your lock is being used outdoors and it's constantly being exposed to rain, whilst the lock is waterproof, inside the circuit has been coated by a rubber seal, which means that water will not damage the circuit. However, it is really important to note that if rainwater does collect on the fingerprint sensor, it will constantly activate the reader, which will eventually drain the battery. So a way to work around that is that it is important that every single time once the door lock has been used, to turn it upside down so that when it is left unused that the fingerprint sensor is constantly face downwards so that if there is rain the rainwater does not collect on the reader which would then drain the battery instead this will work perfectly fine even in in wet weathers another top tip is that whilst it's already coated with a rubber seal so that it is water resistant it is also good to use WD-40 to give an extra layer of protection to act as a water repellent. So all you need to do is to just add a bit of WD-40 around the edges, let it rest, let it sit. And it does not matter if it goes inside the lock, give it a generous amount of WD-40, make sure it does go in. Oops. Leave it to sit for a couple of minutes and then wipe double WD-40 away and now the lock should be good to go. It is also important to note that once the lock has been set up and registered with fingerprints, there is no way there's absolutely no way for it to be resetted. So even if you remove the battery and try to reset the device, it will not be resetted and only the fingerprints registered previously will only work. So any finger that has not been registered previously will not work. You will not be able to reset the device. So the only way for you to reset the device is to use your app, select the pencil icon, and you can select remove device. It's also important to note that when there is a device update, every time you update your smart lock, Due to security reasons, they do require you to re-register your fingerprints and re-register your key cards. So remember, every single time when you upgrade the smart lock, you will need to re-register your fingerprints and re-register your key cards.
Another security measure is that once a lock is paired with one account on your Chuya or Smart Life app, no one else with a different smartphone or a different account can now pair with this lock. There's no way for it to pair. This lock can only pair with one account and, and one account only. However, you can share access to multiple accounts. There is a family management settings where multiple people with different accounts can access all the smart home devices on the administrator account. There is a separate video to guide you how to set up your family management. If the lock doesn't pair, sometimes it will be stuck on the um, Bluetooth connecting error message. All you need to do is refresh the app, wipe it, Once you hear that beep, it means that the lock is now connected.